Today is a Saturday and what do people like me do on weekends? Well, we update uh, BIOS. So I am going to update the BIOS of this uh, ThinkPad which I bought a couple of days back. And uh, to update the BIOS, you can uh, go to this uh, website. This is highly recommended x220.mcdonaldtech.com slash resources. Now you will find uh, plenty of information here, especially if you are trying to uh, install OS X. If you want to, if you are into uh, Hackintosh, I'm not really into Hackintosh, so I'll I'll probably uh, not worry about it. But uh, uh, on this particular page, you have uh, plenty of information. So this is something that uh, you can always refer to. This is a great resource. And by the way, I found this uh, resource uh, from. Uh, from one uh, youtube channel i believe it it is uh, i forgot the name of the channel but uh, i think it was laptop uh, perspectives let me just uh, check the name laptop retrospectives and uh, it is a great channel that guy usually post quite a lot of information about uh, thinkpads and so I've, I'm, I'm basically following his uh, advice and let us see how it goes now the pro process to update the BIOS is actually very simple. What you need to do, you need to first uh, check the current uh, BIOS version. I think you can check it using uh, one command called uh, ms uh, info 32. If you run this command, uh, you can uh, uh, check it quite quite easily. And by the way, you need Windows uh, for doing that. And right now I'm using uh, Windows 10. And uh, to be honest, I, I didn't really install Windows 10 on this uh, laptop. This laptop came with this uh, hard disk which is uh, uh, something that I'm not really sure about what I will do with it because this is not really an SSD. And what I did, if you remember from my previous, uh, like one of my previous video, I updated, I upgraded my uh, daughter's HP laptop. And this is the hard disk that I pulled out uh, from that machine. So that, that so this, this hard disk is already, uh, I mean, Windows 10 was already there and I thought I'll probably insert it and I'll try if uh, Windows can load. So it worked quite uh, smoothly and as you can see, uh, I'm now into Windows. It is quite uh, good. I mean, uh, I was not really expecting it to work straight away. I just swapped the hard disk and uh, now I'm using Windows. This particular hard disk has Ubuntu, by the way. So what I'll do, I'll uh, use the uh, ThinkPad so, so the first thing that you need to do, you need to install, let me just try to, uh, f let me first show you the uh, system information. So when you press the command, uh, when you enter the command ms32, it will uh, give you this page. So ms, so ms info32 will uh, give you this, uh, this nice information about your, uh, your system. And as you can see here, right now my, my current, uh, uh, BIOS version is, uh, is, 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 is 1.31. Now it says here BIOS version date and Lenovo blah, 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 and version 1.31. Now, if you follow the guide here, if you go back to the uh, ThinkPad uh, X220 resources on this uh, website, x220.mcdonaldtech.com slash resources, you will find this uh, section here. I'll, I'll, I'll try to, oh, I think it's probably somewhere above. <clears throat> okay, where is it? BIOS firmware. So the, the first thing that you need to do, you need to make sure that your BIOS is uh, running on the latest uh, official BIOS version from Lenovo, which you can download from the Lenovo website. So if you go to web this website, and by the way, of course, you know, you, there are all the links. Uh, you can always uh, go and take a look at the links. So download this utility from the Lenovo website. And uh, once you download the version 1.46, then you need to basically use this modified version, which you can download from here. There is a link. If you click on this link, it will uh, take you to this, uh, mm, uh, this, this site this media fire site and you can download this uh, uh, this mo modified BIOS. So I'll do that in a moment. But before that, I want to update the uh, BIOS using the, I want to update using the official uh, Lenovo BIOS. So let us do that. And so this is the utility. So it says, welcome to ThinkPad BIOS uh, update utility setup. 
it is recommended that you close all other applications which i don't really want to uh, close i mean it is a usual error so accept next i hope i'm doing i, I hope it won't uh break my laptop or it won't uh, do anything that i can't fix but i'm adventurous I'll, I'll i'll take the risk so the installation process is uh, is in progress let us see let us see how it goes okay completing the thinkpad bios update utility setup install thinkpad bios update utility now okay now it will install it now it will install F finish and uh, let me just close these windows because i don't want to okay so okay so now it looks good now it says uh, update thinkpad bios okay i want to update it yes definitely let us take the risk next it will do something i guess wait for it okay not responding this particular laptop is uh, not uh, i mean it is of course using ssd and uh, right now the ram is only 2 gb so that is why it is not that uh, fast but of course uh, we will be updating all those things <clears throat> so it will now do some things i guess before continuing uh, ensure the following make sure ac adapter is firmly connected make sure that the charge battery is pack is installed save all open files uh, blah 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 okay next 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 i want to take the risk okay so i think a battery needs to be charged so I, i'll probably use the other, use another battery okay so i have installed uh, another battery and uh, let us try again so if i click on next button let us see what happens click on next okay do not power off during an update otherwise your system may be damaged do you want to continue yes i want to continue and and what nothing nothing happened let us wait for it okay flash update has been successfully completed you must restart your system okay let us restart and uh, and, and and let us see how it goes restarting okay it didn't really restart let me okay yeah it, it is restarting okay let me hold the button the blue button come on there is no message yep oh sorry Flashing embedded controller, please do not power off. So I, I think it is, uh, it is doing something. It was a bit scary. The fan was uh, making a lot of noises. Oh, I forgot to press the button. Anyways, we can always go to the MS Info and uh, take a look at the version, the BIOS version, whether it has been updated or not. Okay, so after running the MS Info 32 again, I can now confirm that my BIOS has been updated from 1.31 to 1.46. Good news. So the next thing that I will do is I will of course install the uh, modification, uh, the, the, the modified BIOS. So let me just uh, get rid of the window. And uh, this was the file that I downloaded from, uh, from the website. <clears throat> and let me just uh, extract it first. And then we will... Uh, flash the bios it is interesting i hope it works so far it is uh, it is good and i won't be using uh, windows on this machine uh, i mean i will of course be using arch linux and the reason i'm uh, i'm doing this uh, bios uh, bios update is because i want to i, I hopefully hopefully want to uh, use uh, more ram because right now it has only 2 gb and uh, officially thinkpad x20 i think uh, they support 8 gb this model supports 8 gb but with this update with this modification in the bios <clears throat> i'm hoping to use 16 gb uh, which is which will be awesome let us see how it goes so i will open the folder and i believe there should be some kind of a readme file that i can read uh one drive is not signed in i don't really want to sign into one drive thank you very much come on to be honest windows <clears throat> 
uh, if you're using windows and use ssd i think uh, it will make a lot uh, a lot more lot much difference to your uh, speed so let us open this <clears throat> so read me there is a read me i'll open this come on okay so it says a uh, whitelist i think we can maybe maybe we can change uh, <clears throat> okay so whitelist removal unlock aes and i uh, on no encryption machines blah 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 be careful with advanced menu changing some options may render laptop unbootable more me more memory speed means more heat uh, okay to flash bios run win uptp dot exe from one of the modified bios folder no need to flash original bios image prior to flashing modified one if you already if you're already if you're if you on 1.46 already then use flash dot bat okay this is uh, good information let me just uh, go to the flash dot bat so let us find the file where is it okay so there is a file called flash.bat i think we can run it okay let us see how it goes yes okay please do not interrupt the application before it completes the following task load new bios analyze old and new bios compatibility read old bios blah 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 flash new bios programming bios region so i think it is doing something it is flashing and hopefully it will work it is uh, it is looking good to be honest uh it, it is, i mean of course i'm a bit uh, nervous at this stage because uh, things can go wrong very very fine bios fail reflashing okay and uh, <clears throat> let us wait i think the screen might flicker and uh, will come to know when uh, the computer computer reboots we can of course see the advanced menu if everything goes well bios verifying bios fail reflashing okay it is doing something it is taking some time i'll i'll wait for it i'll probably not pause the video let us see how it goes we'll we'll come to know about it together <clears throat> come on okay one more time okay let us see let us let us uh, i think it will take uh, it will do few rounds so i'll just pause the video here okay so i think it finished i was hoping for the computer to uh, restart uh, but no there is no there is no restart let us read the read me file again one more time so uh, it says uh, be careful with the advanced menu blah 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 to flash this la 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 uh, these modifications were made uh, okay so there is no there is no update and uh, uh, let us restart the machine and verify of course if i do right now ms n 32 it won't do anything yeah, i mean it is still on 1.46 but uh, i want to see whether this is uh, wh whether i can see the advanced menu or not okay let us get, get rid of these windows okay so i just uh, restarted my computer and uh, let us see i think it will make that noise again it will do some um, that okay so press the blue button no 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 ah, come on i i i missed to press it one more time but we can always go to ms uh, no i actually wanted to go and take a look in the bios okay let me just restart one more time okay so i managed to uh, enter the bios and uh, let us press f1 <clears throat> okay do we have any advanced options yes we now have this uh, advanced options which is looking great and i think uh, i can do a lot of things with this now i think this this, this advanced option was not there earlier and uh, just be careful about these options i think uh, if you're not sure what you're doing 
then uh, it can damage your uh, computer but i think uh, i'll be careful <laughs> i'll uh, i'll first understand and learn if i need to change anything only then i will change uh, change these things so <clears throat> so quite quite happy and uh, i think uh, what i wanted to do is now is now working so i'll, I'll keep you guys posted there is a uh, uh, there is one uh, upgrade that I'm thinking of doing. I'll probably install M Setter Drive in this laptop, but uh, I'm not really sure if uh, M Setter Drive is better than uh, uh, than than the SSD. I think SSD should work better uh, based on some research that I did earlier. But uh, I think uh, I have one slot empty, so I'll probably use it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.